Hello folks, we're back again for the in-stock lease deals of the month for July 2023. There are some fantastic deals in this. It's been a bit of a pattern forming lately where the deals have started to get a bit better and I think there are some really great deals in this one. So please watch to the end. All these are based on three months up front, three year deals with 10,000 miles a year. Please use my link to lease low coats in the video description and pinned as the top comment. Uh, that helps support the channel. Can't do this if you don't use the link. But what you can do then is have a little poke around and you can make a lease profile that suits your particular needs. Maybe you want higher or lower mileage. Maybe you don't want to pay a deposit or you want to pay a much bigger deposit. Whatever you want to do, you can make it happen there. Let's crack on. So we're starting this one off with the Vauxhall Mocha. Now, at the end of this video, I'll put all the in-stock EV deals. But at the start, we're just going to be looking at petrols, diesels, hybrids, etc. The Vauxhall Mocha is the 1.2 turbo design, £828 up front and 276 a month, 9.1 seconds to 62, 130 brake horsepower, 350 litres of boot space, insurance group 20 and 45 MPG. As said, obviously it's in stock because it's in this video. Look at this, average price on it has been £332 a month. But for quite a long period, it was nearly 400 quid a month. Here it's 360. Then a couple of months ago, it dropped down to about this price we see today, 276 pounds a month. The Mocha is a very popular car. They sell bucket loads of them. This seems like a great deal. 828 up front and 276 a month. Next, we've got the Volkswagen Golf, always a bit of an old favourite, this one, the 1.5 TSI style, 872 up front and £290 a month. So this one's your manual petrol, 9.2 seconds to 62, 130 brake horsepower, insurance group 18, 381 litres of boot space and 51 MPG is claimed. So the average price on the Golf over the last year has been £333. If we look at the peaks in August, it's 375 In December, 373 You often find with the VWs, you don't get the huge peaks and troughs. The pricing tends to be very consistent. They don't often offer sort of big discounts or anything. Um, but this is the best price we've seen one this year. Bar none. 872 up front and £290 a month. That looks like a deal. As always, these in-stock deals go very, very quickly. So if you're interested in one of these, jump on it as quickly as you can. Because if you're watching this video in two or three weeks and leaving a comment to say, oh, I couldn't find that deal you're looking at, it's because it's already gone, folks. That's the way it goes. Next, we've got the Ford Puma. This is the one litre EcoBoost hybrid or mild hybrid. Um, this is in ST line trim, which is right up there in Ford's sort of trim levels. 888 up front and 296 a month. It's in stock, this one. This is a manual petrol car, 9.8 seconds to 62, 125 brake horsepower, insurance group 12, 456 litres of boot space and 52 MPG. Um, if we go down to the price tracker, you'll see the average price on it's been £322 a month at its peak, 366 uh, for quite a long period of time. It was around about the 350, 330, 340 mark. Currently 296 with 888 up front. So if you're considering leasing a car, you should definitely be thinking about getting yourself some gap insurance. Gap insurance basically covers you in the event that your car's written off in an accident or is stolen or someone sets fire to it, anything like that. Your insurance company will pay you out uh, based on a write-off value, but that's not always enough to satisfy the leasing company. Okay, so they might come after you for the missing payments or the, the interest on those payments, uh, all sorts of different things. But it might be a case where you get £20,000 for the insurance company, the finance company is asking you for twenty four. That four grand gap would be coming out of your pocket if you didn't have some gap insurance. Now, sponsors of today's video are Car2Cover, who've supported the channel for a little while now. They are lovely, lovely people. There's no sort of big sales call centre or anything. And unlike your local car dealer who's expert in selling a car and possibly selling you finance, uh, these guys really are experts in their field of the gap insurance. Now, having a look at that Ford Puma that we just looked at there, that's a £26,000 car, lease on it's about 300 quid a month, uh, for three years cover on that, and you're covered up to 50 grand, it's 159 quid. It's not bad, is it? And what's better still is if you give the guys a ring, the number's 01438 870615, and quote Jim 10, 
they'll give you £10 off that. So you've got three years cover that could potentially stop you having to fork out thousands of pounds, if not hundreds of pounds, out of your own pocket in the event that the worst happens. 159 quid, 149 quid with that discount. There is a link in the video description so you can get your instant quote online. But if you want that £10 off, you just need to give them a ring to wrap everything up at the end, just because the website doesn't currently have any way of putting that code in. Uh, but yeah, go and check it out, car2cover.co.uk. Give them a ring. Lovely folks. Thanks. Now, if you're looking for a car that just does everything, does it really well, just gets on with its business, you could do a lot worse, really, than look at, say, at Leon Estate. 1.5 TSI Evo 150 Excellence, or Excellence, and 9 seconds to 62, 150 brake horsepower, insurance group 18, 47.9 MPG, and 620 litres of boot space. Massive thing, really practical, lovely car to drive. Uh, this is the 1.5 litre petrol manual car, a grand up front 344 a month. That's a lot of car for that much money. Uh, let's just have a look at the price. Uh, average price on it's been £402 over the last year. As you can see, quite a long stretch there where it's 430 quid, 425 quid. Another little peak there in March, 460. Currently 344 with a grand up front. Not a bad deal. And speaking of value for money, also take a look at the C5 Aircross, the 1.2 PureTech Shine, 10.3 uh, seconds to 6,231 horsepower, insurance group 19, 40 MPG, 720 litres of boot space, 949 up front, 316 a month. That 720, by the way, is wrong. That's like, I'm sure it's 520, somewhere around there. Average price on that one, 358 at its peak. 396 currently 316 with 949 up front one of the big advantages of the c5 aircross by the way is the back row of seats is actually three proper seats normally you've got sort of two and a half you've got three individual seats so if you've got two kids in car seats uh, or three kids in car seats you can fit them all in properly if you've got two kids and you want to carry another adult or something again not a problem all individual seats nice and roomy for your passengers in the back Next, we've got the Peugeot 508 Fastback. I think this is a lovely looking car that goes overlooked by a lot of people. Um, but it really is quite a stylish looking thing. Uh, this is the 1.2 PureTech GT EATA automatic gearbox. 1158 up front and 386 a month. 10 seconds to 62, 131 horsepower, 487 litres of boot space and 42.7 mpg. No insurance group on that one, but I know it's not too bad. You can actually save 13 quid a month by doing a factory order on this. Um, but as I said, 1100 up front, 386 a month. And look at this average price on it, 541. So back in May, 692 quid a month. Uh, then it went to 592 a month. Currently, 386 and 1158 up front, and it's in stock. So everything I just said about that say at Leon also applies here to the Skoda Octavia estate or Octavia if that's the way you roll. Two litre TSI VRS. So this is a lively one. Uh, it's the DSG automatic gearbox, which is brilliant in these things. 0 to 62 in 6.7 seconds. So certainly no slouch. 245 horsepower. Only insurance group 26, which is fantastic considering how much performance the car's got. 640 litres of boot space. 39.7 mpg but you will get much better than that on a run if you're not driving like uh, lewis hamilton and there it is it's a good looking car the vrs octavia and certainly performs uh, as you would want it to lovely thing you can factory order this for 40p a month less than taking the in-stock one but why on earth wouldn't you just take the in-stock one 12.92 up front 430 a month it's unusual to see one of these in stock and it's unusual to see one at such a good price. 475 has been the average price on it at its peak about 540 um, and it's around that 530, 540 mark for quite a large portion of the last year. Uh, currently £430.93 a month, £1,292 up front. That is a lot of car for your money. Look at this. We've got a van on the in stock lease deals of the month. And the reason we're looking at this is it's a transit custom. These things have been as rare as hen's teeth in recent times and very difficult to get hold of. We've got one here in stock. 
Now, the prices on commercial vehicles are on lease loco and pretty much everywhere you look at, at car leasing. Um, on commercial vehicles, always excluding VAT. So bear that in mind, you need to add VAT to this if you're a private leaser. Uh, 1100 up front and 370 a month. That gets you a Transit Custom 300 L2, 2 litre Eco Blue, 130 PS, low roof limited van, uh, 43.5 MPG, payload of just over a ton, and a load length of 2.9 meters. As you can see, it's in stock. I can't believe I'm saying that on one of these. It's diesel, obviously. Uh, so this time last year, 400 quid a month, September 410, December 476, and then you've got this long stretch here, it's around about 470 480 a month and then we've just had this big drop to 370 a month don't forget you need to add the vat to it but we're talking 1100 up front and 370 a month now let's get on to the evs and look at this the aura funky cat which we've seen in the last couple of videos it's got even cheaper 897 up front and 295 a month uh, this is a 32000 pound car that you can have for under 300 quid a month that is great value. 126 kilowatt first edition, 48 kilowatt hour automatic, 193 miles of range, 171 brake horsepower, insurance group 24, 228 litres of boot space, uh, 295 a month, folks. 0 to 62 is 6.2 seconds, top speed of 99 miles an hour. And this here tells you the story, doesn't it? I mean, look at that. Uh, this time last year, 556 a month. At its peak, £604 a month. Currently, 295 with 887 up front. And if ever there's a car that you should lease and not buy, it has to be something like an Aura Funky Cat, something where people just don't know what the value is going to do. Don't know if that's going to depreciate like mad. Who knows? It might hold its value well, but I don't think it probably will. Um, you're protecting yourself against that depreciation basically you've got a known quantity of a regular monthly payment at the end of the three years you give it back whether it's gone up or down whatever in value makes no difference to you you've paid your money you've had your time on to the next now the deals on these have been around for a few weeks now and uh, at some point that bubble will burst so all i can really suggest folks is if you're interested in one of these don't waste any time and get on it. Use that link in the video description. Uh, still good prices around on the Corsa E. We've seen this one plenty of times. 959 up front, 319 a month. Average on that has been 387 over the last year. Currently 319. One of the most popular cars in the UK. 0 to 60 times 7.6 seconds on one of these. 222 miles of range. So despite the fact that it's a little coarser, it's actually a fairly uncompromised EV that should serve you quite well. Under grand up front and 319 a month. Now we've got the VW ID3 and look what's happened to these. 150 kilowatt life pro, uh, 58 kilowatt hour, just over a grand up front and 357 a month. Obviously in stock because it's in this video. 265 miles of range, 204 brake horsepower, 385 litres of boot space, insurance group 27. Um, 0 to 60 time is 7.3 seconds. But look at this. Average price on the ID3 has been 488 quid. And in February, it was 634. Pretty much 300 quid more than it is now per month. This time last year, 508, September 606. Then we had a long period there where they were 474. Then we had 634 in February, 508 in March. Currently 353 with 1071 up front. These deals will fly out. They really will. So if you're interested in an ID3, get on it quickly. And this one's a bit of a thinking man's EV. Um, a lot of people will be put off by a Renault badge, but actually the reviews of these are really good. Uh, I've driven one for about 10 minutes and it was quite a nice thing to drive, but it ticks a lot of boxes. 217 horsepower, 280 miles of range, uh, 440 litres of boot space and Group 27 on the car insurance. It's the Renault Megane E-Tech. This one's the Techno 60 kilowatt hour optimum charge, the EV60. 1250 is the upfront and 416 quid a month. 0 to 62 time of seven and a half seconds on the Megane, by the way. Average price on it's been 519 pounds and we're currently 100 quid less than that. 
So this is a good time to get one. Uh, this time last year, 560, August 623, October 623, December 613, currently 416 with 1250 up front. Very good value at the moment. The Polestar 2 is in my top three of EVs and I've driven most of them. It is that good. It's brilliant. 170 kilowatt, 69 kilowatt hour standard range single motor, 297 miles of range, 231 brake horsepower, insurance group 34 and 405 litres of boot space. Uh, just under 1500 up front and 490 a month. It's in stock. If you wanted to factory order one of these, it's 112 quid a month more than taking one of these in stock cars. So it's well worth going for. 0.62 and 7.4 in this one. Uh, you can get some fruitier Polestar 2s, but this is your standard. So over the last year, the average price has been 597. This time last year, 680. That's peak 704. Currently 490 versus an average of 597. And your upfront payment's about 1500 quid. And then finally, we've got the VW ID5, 128 kilowatt style pro, 77 kilowatt hour, 326 miles of range, 174 horsepower, insurance group 27, 549 litres of boot space, 1,753 up front and 584 a month. 0 to 62 is about 10 seconds on this. It's not a rapid car or a lively car. It's not the most engaging thing to drive, it hasn't got the best interior, but it's okay. Uh, 0 to 62 times about 10 seconds on this car. Um, nice enough to thing to drive, but it's not lightning fast like a lot of EVs. Uh, the interior is very minimalist, but it has got plenty of space in it. Uh, 692 quid has been the average price on one of these. This time last year, £790 a month. Currently, 584 with 1753 up front. Now, folks, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up and if you click the subscribe button and click that notification bell. I'd also greatly appreciate it if you do me the honor of using the link to Lease Loco that's in the video description and pin as the top comment. I've said it a million times before, but I can't make these videos without your support. So please support my sponsors. It really does mean a lot. And do go and check out car to cover that I mentioned earlier on. If you are considering leasing a car, you should give serious consideration to getting yourself some gap insurance. And there are no better or nicer people to get it from than Tom and Elaine at car to cover. Thanks very much, folks. I'll see you on the next one.